it's just you know technical difficulties it it's a thing so um <laughs> all right don't worry let's see are we is it live okay i think we're good now all right so all right let's 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 go back to uh let's go back to yeah, move on to like some thought. of my questions you know so um okay so what i do what i do definitely want to talk to you about is here let me let me record this too, just in case we're having any issues okay so i want to talk to you a little bit about you know the fans um you know one kind of cool thing and it's like shout out to my friend chris because i know last uh a couple days ago i think it was last week and i put this on the image for everybody to check out as well is like the 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 fan base are so freaking creative you got people like me that do podcasts and we get to learn a little bit about you you know and then you got the fans that draw you which is which is nuts right yeah. like it's it's got to be like such a cool you know experience oh, no, it, to see that so fire, like I, I can't like there's been a couple people that have drawn me so far like and they all do a great job i'm like so shocked i'm like god damn they got my likeness down to a t <laughs> even my nose you know what i mean so <laughs> that's that's so awesome like it's it's really it's really cool to see like shout out to all those people like have you had that too where you've had like the fans like they'll come and like they'll bring you like the drawings and like yeah for you like that people bring me drawings like um, the main Limitless sign guy is my dude. He always, like, makes signs for, like, the, the Limitless shows. Mm -hmm. And I got, like, a couple of... I got, like, two of my merch, mm -hmm. my uh, T-shirts off of, off of him because, like, the design is so good. <laughs> like, he just does it all freehand and he just comes up with, like, a, like hot fire. So... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah it's, it's awesome. Like, they, I, I appreciate all the support that I get from my fans. Yeah. No, nah, it's... My OGs because they ain't busters. They know... <laughs> They know who real G is. <laughs> yes, yes. So and there's like support your favorite independent wrestlers, man. Like buy merch, buy you know, like me, I'm a pin girl. I love pins. Uh, you know, like buy buy the stuff. So and then, you know, we'll get into that a little bit later for the for the fans if uh, you know, if, if they want to buy and uh, support you and all that fun stuff. So um, you know, so I like I like asking this question because it's always a fun question. You never know what comes out of people's mouths. So give us one of your best road trip stories because you travel a lot so i'm sure you have some of those like funny moments that stick out to you that you could share with us um a couple months uh not a couple months i think the last magic show um we <laughs> uh me msp and like uh the star car we were driving down to uh it's me msp and ac we we're driving down to um what is it called um, pro wrestling magic mm -hmm. and like Jossie's car his wheel almost fell off mm -hmm. like for some reason like there was like legit only two bolts left on it left i think like he said he got his, his like the bolts on it changed and they didn't tighten them tight enough so we're on the highway and we heard this noise and we're like what is going on we pull over and the, the tires legit like that like oh, it was about to fall off like we could have died um so we like couldn't go to magic which was horrible because we legit like well all were on a legit yeah. like an hour and a half an hour forty five away from the show like we're legit on our way, and uh, we had to get a hotel room and go get the parts and all that. So Jossie went all and got the parts, and then we went downstairs. We're about to get the thing fixed, and all of a sudden it starts raining and we can't do anything. We're like fuck. So we went back upstairs and we're all in the hotel room, and I remember like, like I think like Danger Kid came over and he just chopped me, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden we were like. Let's go, motherfucker. And then we all just started, like, legit wrestling. Like, we had, like, a fatal four-way in this hotel room, slamming each other around. Like, I was doing, like, <laughs> I was doing, like, freaking uh, German suplexes onto the bed, roll, and roll freaking code breakers, and AC was powerbombing me and choke slamming me, and all of a sudden, we got a knock on the door, and it's a, a noise complaint. Like, oh jeez! Because <laughs> we were just, all of us were just, we had the music, we had, like, the TV up, and we were just all in there, like, fighting. But we were tossing each other around on this bed. Like, I was hitting burning hammers and all that. Aggro ended up getting involved because he was he was the adult until he was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, he started he started fighting, too. So it was a dope little time. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, thank God you guys are good. Um... Yeah, no, no. Thank God we're good. You I, know I, I, mean? I saw that, that photo on uh 
And I almost came to that show and then so I got caught up doing something else and I wanted to come and I wanted to come see you. And then I'm like, oh, I was like, well, I'm kind of glad. I was like, <laughs> I, was like I would have been mad. I was like, I would have been really upset. Um, but so what are some things that you like to do when you're not in the squared circle? Um, I work. I wrestle. I like to work out. Play video games sometimes. Watch com uh, like read comic books, and like watch like a, like adult animation like Family Guy, South Park, Inside Job, Futurama, all of them. Oh, so um, for the fans that that want to know, like, are you a PS guy or are you an Xbox guy? Uh, I mean, I'm a little bit of both. Like, it, it's like when I was younger, I grew up on Xbox. So we had a PS2, but then we got a 360. Uh, then we got an Xbox, the original Xbox, and then we got a 360. Mm -hmm. And then I end up getting, I think I have like a PS4 right now, like the Slim, the PS4 Pro Slim. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I like it a lot. I think Xbox more of a, a family console now. Like PS4 is more of like a gaming console. Mm -hmm. But I'm down for both. Like it, they both do the same thing. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> like I can, I can both, I can play video games off of both, so I don't care. Yeah. Uh, Johnny in the chat says, "I like to see Alec Price take on Alex Zane." Oh my god. Like, yes, what are you I'm guys? That, what are you that. guys trying to do to me? Like, God, like all these, like all my favorite wrestlers. What are you doing to me? Uh, Chad's in the chat. He goes, "Hi." Uh, Eric says, "Is he a Marvel or DC guy?" Oh. I'm a, I'm kind of mutual. I mean, I like uh, uh, I, I'm a big Wolverine fan, no cap, and like a Hulk fan. I mean, I'm more of a Marvel Marvel man, but I like certain people in DC. Like, I I definitely like like the Joker. I like the Joker. Deathstroke's my favorite villain of all time because mm -hmm. like Deathstroke's awesome. Like, if anybody says otherwise, like I do not believe you. You're wrong. You're a buster. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like both of them. I'm definitely more of a Marvel man because I like, you know, Wolverine and like um, the Hulk. Mm -hmm. The Hulk has some dope ass stories to him. So yeah, okay. or Spider Man. I like Spider Man too. I love it. I love it. All right, so you know, we're talking. We're so close to 2022. Do Do you have like, or I should say, what are some of your goals of 2022? Maybe it's like somewhere you want to go. I mean, clearly. We want to, like, you know, put all damn belts on you. That's a given, you know. But, like, what are some of your goals for next year? Um, For 2022, I want to have the best year I possibly can have. I want to be – I want to start going out of New England, going to different territories. Mm -hmm. um, or I want to get signed. Um, it's – I think it's going to be, like, either or. Like, either I'm going to stay on the indies – and be super hot fire and um, continue to, you know, build off this momentum that I built in 2022 or yeah. 2021 and uh, just go on to 2022, like with the head of steam and just keep freaking killing it and going to every territory and wrestling any place that I need to go and start going to other countries. Um, but I, I definitely want to get, I want to start getting looked at. Like I want to start getting, I want to get signed soon. Um, just because, that's what I, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. It's not even about money. It's just like, I want this to be my job. Yeah. Um, and you know, if it comes now, if it comes later, everyone's roles different. I'm going to, I'm going to stay humble, keep putting in my hard work and when it happens, it happens. So, yeah. Maybe. but I think 2020, 2022 is definitely the year of the prize. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Uh, Chad wants to know what kind of scary movies do you like? Depending on like what type, like, there's different type of scary movies. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you like the bad ones, like the real, real bad ones? Like I was just having a conversation with a bunch of wrestlers the other day. We were talking about the really cheesy, scary movies. I, I don't really know. Like cheesy, scary movies, I'm kind of just like, eh. But like the like uh, like the bad ones, like I, I I'm more of a comedy fan. Like I, or like. Sci like kind of like sci-fi like like magic or shit like that like so i mean when it comes down to like horror like i like watching horror but i'm not like a super big horror fan mm -hmm. um i mean if i probably have to go with one 
And I mean, I like the Conjurings. They're, they're dope. Okay. Or like, uh, I don't know if I don't know if uh, Signs, the al- the Alien movie with Mel Gibson, like technically is a thing. Mm-hmm. Technically is a um, yeah. scary movie, but that was a good movie too. Yeah. Like uh, I really like that one. I don't know. Oh, you want <laughs> you want to laugh at like a really scary bad one? Look up um, Killer Pinata. Like this Killer Pinata. <laughs> such a bad movie that it's so it's one of those like wrecks that it's like what am i watching but i need to continue to watch it kind of things yeah, that no, it's like I, a... see i like stuff like that like those... <laughs> that, like that's funny as shit <laughs> then there was, we were just talking about this the other day with me and a bunch of wrestlers and we were sending videos to each other i think there was a killer tree i forgot what it's called tree venge <laughs> it's on youtube it's like 11 minutes tree long venge. tree venge i like the the tree is pissed because the the family came and chopped the other trees the family trees next to them or whatever and then like yeah. they come back to the house and he's like mad that he took the trees and then he comes and he like he he sets the house on fire like it's just so bad that it's so it's a train wreck but it's so <laughs> good like. <laughs> so um, april's dying in the chat at me because we watched a bunch of these like b movies as as we, we call them but yeah so if you want to you want to laugh definitely go check those freaking shitty movies out they're so good if uh, i do have to say probably like definitely leprechaun i like the leprechaun series okay okay that's good um even leprechauns in the hood <laughs> oh man oh no april said the ginger dead man that was bad oh my <laughs> god jesus we could we could go on and on and on about these like horrible movies so uh so i have one final question for you then we'll get into what you got coming up if you guys got any questions please feel free drop them in the chat um you know so now that now that uh you know i like i like i like ending my my podcasts like this you know because there are always inspiring there's amateur wrestlers out there there's people that want to get into the business you know like all this what's a piece of advice that you would give those people uh stay humble and get ready to eat shit um i think that in this business if as long as you stick it out and show that you can hang and show that you're um you're not just one of those people that are marks trying to get in or just trying to be there for a couple of weeks like there's a lot of people that will go to wrestling school thinking they want to be wrestlers and um, they'll be there for a couple months and then get on a show and leave. There's people that will go on their first road trip and realize this is not for me and dip. If you really want to do this, stick around, continue to work hard, pay your dues, and, like, just always remain humble. Go to shows. Like, even if you're a name, help out with the ring. Help out with the thing. Always make sure that everything's good because at the end of the day, like, it's all you can do. Right. And um, it's all about you and your word and who you are as a person. Are you really you fake? Um, and just, just just work hard and continue to go. Like I ain't anywhere. Like I I, I still got goals. I ain't nothing compared to what I want to be and what I know I can be. So just always evolve and just always keep continue to work hard. I guess. Yeah, oh, that's great. It's great advice. Um, for all those people I know, like we have a lot of fans that either just started training or want to get into it. And a lot of them ask me or they'll tweet at me or they'll come into the chat. So I like getting your guys perspective for them. So, um, so yeah, let's talk about what's coming up. You are a busy man. Got a lot. We got a lot of posters. I got a lot of posters up here. New Year's like you busy. You busy. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm a busy man. I'm a busy man. <laughs> so definitely, like I said, I will be up um, for New Year's. I think I'm going to do a, a vlog for the channel, guys, so you can see it. So um, I don't know. Maybe Alec will come and get in my face and tell me that, you know, I got to pay him again to follow him on Twitter. But <laughs> 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 so definitely check out check out that stuff definitely check him out like action and uh limitless then you know we have the the, the grind and like there's some grind, on- bro. oh my god everywhere come on like magic i was at jc dub the other day yeah. like sooner or later i'm gonna be everywhere yeah. check me out social like every match that i got yeah. coming up is gonna be hot fire 2021 is ending in a bang, and 2022 is starting off with a championship retain. Like, I'm taking this home in Worcester. Wrestle Festival is going to be my time. It's mine. J.D. Drake ain't getting that. 
Follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter. It's the same handle. It's the Pride City OG. If you're not following me, I don't even know why you're watching this. I mean, obviously you're watching it because she's a great, you know, she does great Thank at podcasting. You. But you need to follow me. Yes. You need to follow this podcast. Thank you. you need to follow everything. If you ain't doing it, you a buster. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and Snapchat's only for the woes, so you can't get that. <laughs> um, all those links are in the description if you guys want to follow him. His merch is in there, too. Definitely go and support. I'm telling you, if you guys know me by now, like, you guys know I have an eye. I've been talking about Alec for a long time. So I'm very, like, I'm so grateful that you came on here, chat with me. Like, I, I'm so glad that I got to see you finally in person because I just kept missing you. And <laughs> it just was like making me mad. Like, I think the last IWTV show that was at H2O, I was so pissed. I'm like, why? I was like, what? I'm always at H2O building. And I was like, why am I not? That was so mad. I was like, I just I just keep missing you. So I'm I'm very glad that we got to meet um, Sunday. Well, so. yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad that we got to meet. Thank yeah. you for the support and, you know, thank you for letting me come on and Absolutely. tell my story and, you know, yes. introduce me to some people that's never met me before. Yes. So what's good, guys? Go thank you for listening. Go Make follow. sure you follow her podcast. Thank you. She's great. You're, you're, Fantastic. you're sweet. I have one more like match that I didn't bring up because I just bought tickets literally before this podcast was Invictus. Uh, I love Invictus. I've been Invictus before. Uh, this is your debut too, right? This is your... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you're wrestling the good friend of this podcast, Big Game Leroy. So I'm excited. I'm going to be front row for this too. Like, as long as nothing gets shut down again. Um, oh, yeah. That's another belt coming to me. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that, Leroy? That's me coming for your gold, son. Oh, my God. I'm just going to sit in the front. <laughs> I'm really excited for this match. You don't understand. Like, Leroy's been on this channel a couple of times. I love you, Leroy. Um, I'm just going to shut my mouth because <laughs> it's like I'm going to get myself in trouble with one of you guys. Yeah, I, am no, not, no. I am I am team both on this, okay? like Come on. You know CJ is team prize. Stop lying. <laughs> like, I won't, I won't tell Leroy. It's fine. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> no, but but I, I love it. I, I can't wait to, you know, for all these shows. So guys, definitely go go support. Go say hi to him. Again, if you go to some of the shows, if you're new, definitely go follow him. Go check out some of the matches we talked about today. It's, you know, he's great. So with that being said, guys, thank you for bearing with us with uh, some technical difficulties. I just <laughs> I hate Skype and all that other shit. But like, here we are. So, um, but yeah, so guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to all that fun shit. Follow me again tomorrow. Nick Gron's coming from H2O, so we can talk to him about the Undiscovered Championship belt. Next week, MSP's coming on, so hey. we're going to talk to them a little bit. So, But for now, guys, stay safe, support independent wrestling, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Be easy.